Our next workshop is going to be make a candle holder. In the uh, Allentown store, it's going to be the weekend of the, the 20th and the 21st. That's a Friday and a Saturday, and it's going to be the regular times, 1 to 5 on Friday and 10 to 2 on Saturday. Same thing in Harrisburg the next weekend on March 27th and 28th. The tools we use in this particular workshop is going to be a drill press uh, for the Forstner bit, and then we'll use a Festool router in the multi-function table to cut some dados. Uh, we'll use the router table to do some, some edge uh, cleanup, and then the spindle sander to kind of shape the legs. There's only five work pieces that uh, are in this candle holder. There's three pieces that are one and a half by eight by three quarters, and we'll be using a mixture of woods, two light colored woods for the outside and, and a darker colored wood for the inside strip. And then there's gonna be two small pieces for the legs. This is a, this is a, a photo of the, um, the top, and that's it, just the three pieces. We edge glue those together, put some pressure uh, to hold the, uh, the, the joint, make the joint good and solid. Uh, we use some Nexabon, which is a really fast drying glue. It should take about three to five minutes for this to set up and for us to work with it. And we go to the drill press and we cut a quarter inch deep, one and a half inch round hole in, in the wood, um, in the, the center piece of it, and that's where the candles will fit in. And then we go to the, uh, to the multifunction table where we use a a Festool router. This is a, a jig that we built that sits, uh, sits underneath the rail uh, and it allows to set the piece in there and we, we can cut the two dados uh, very quickly. Uh, we go to the, the, the router on the rail. All we do is just plunge the router down. This is a three-quarter inch um, Freud bit that we use for cutting the dados and then it's just two quick cuts uh, to make the, the uh, dado cuts. And then we go to the router table and we actually chamfer the edges of, the, uh, of this. Chamfer is just a 45 degree angle uh, to cut. It's kind of a quick thing to go around and just do the edge treatment just on the top. Uh, and we always do the, the ingrain first so you can, if you do have any tear out on the router table, you can always clean it up afterwards. Then we go to the spindle sander and we uh, we shape the legs, just uh, cut a, a nice curve in the legs so that when they sit flat, you can see the underneath as they sit into the dados, and they give, um, give kind of a, a, a good appearance, but in addition to it, it's a less that you have to sand down to make that candle holder sit flat on the tabletop. This is uh, three completed ones it's made of. There's three of them made of uh, a walnut center with, with oak, um, maple, on the outside of this one with, uh, with walnut in the center, and then the last one is uh, oak with a cherry in the center. And we'll use a butcher block to, to actually finish them up. So come to the Woodcraft store, see it, try it, make it, have fun making a candle holder.